to Mina's Bookshelf. Today I'm going through uh, with you the Law of Positivism Healing Oracle uh, by Shireen Oberg with artwork by Lori Mena and the companion book, The Law of Positivism, A Live a Life of Higher Vibrations, Love and Gratitude by Shireen Oberg. Uh, both published at the beginning of the summer by Hay House. Um, I normally find the summer to be the perfect time to um, devote myself to self-care, self-healing, uh, spiritual growth practices. And I found in this deck, in this book, uh, great support and great inspiration. Um, let's take a look at the um, at the back of this paperback copy of the book. Raise your vibration and live your highest potential through the conscious practice of healing your mind, body, and soul. Our thoughts, perception, and emotions create our reality. The law of positivism teaches us that we can heal ourselves through daily integrated practices which create more positive energy in our lives and transform how we experience the world. Shireen Oberg dives deep into how you can live immersed in gratitude and love through meditation, journaling, breathing, and contemplation to heal and release that which is not serving your highest purpose. You will learn how to meditate to create healthy and empowering thoughts, understand your emotions and release fears, feel empowered as an empath and highly sensitive person, cultivate self-love and healthy relationships, heal on all levels and understand your purpose. The law of positivism will teach you how to grow on a physical, emotional, energetic and spiritual level. Shireen Oberg is a certified yoga and meditation teacher, Reiki 3 practitioner, doula and the creator of the law of positivism Instagram and podcast. You can find her at www.lawofpositivism.com. And as far as regards the deck, we are made up of many aspects in body, mind, and spirit. When we find balance in one of these parts of ourselves, we can, we can begin to heal the rest of our system. The cards in this deck are themed around five layers, physical, mental, emotional, energetic, and spiritual, to support your healing journey. Discover how to attract positivity in your life and return to wholeness. Now, uh, you might ask, uh, oh, by the way, both published by uh, Hay House at the beginning of the summer. And I've been working with this too since uh, the beginning of the warm season. And I found them very healing, very supportive, very um, even just pleasant um, as far as it gets the book. Very pleasant, uh, pleasant reading. Now, you may wonder, do I have to uh, work with these two uh, items in tandem? Does the deck need the, uh, in the companion book? Does the companion book need the, um, the deck? Not necessarily. It's a great combination. In the, the deck provides you with a robust, robust guidance for meditation and healing practices. There are so many, so much in terms of exercises and, uh, and guidance for meditation and, um, and things you can do uh, to heal on, um, you know, your relationship, your, uh, your idea of self-worth, your, um, your relationship with your inner child, with your, um, ancestral karma with your uh, background with your his family history and heritage and so much more and um, I do recommend it but the two things are not um, like connected in a way that cannot function without the other absolutely the deck 50 card decks uh, deck comes with its own little uh, guidebook and that might be enough for you to um to get to know the law of positivism, what um, the, the healing practice Shireen Oberg has um, put together in this magnificent uh, deck of cards, but it's not necessary for you to work um, simultaneously with the book. The book is like an extension of it. Uh, there's much more in terms of uh, uh, personal history, uh, autobiographical information. Um, Shireen Oberg came to this kind of work after a, um, a 
addressing her own uh, situation, her own issue, her own uh, connection to her family, her heritage, her um her, you know, her need for, for healing that she decided to face. Um, and she became aware, absolutely aware at some point in her life. But we can work with the deck uh, on its own. It can be a standalone. Now, um, let's read through a um, an important paragraph of the book and then we'll go and um, move to uh, the Oracle deck to take a look at it. What I love about the um, the book is the list of exercises because let's face it, there's a lot of material out there, literature, um, other sorts of medias, like media, for example, like cards uh, that offer guidance in terms of uh, self-care, self-healing, spiritual growth, meditation. But then uh, everything is so, uh, let's say, so uh, ethereal in the end. And, and, and sometimes it doesn't really offer practical uh, practical advice or a uh, some, uh, you know, robust and tangible informations that you can use in your daily life to apply these beautiful principles. This book does, and it does it in a very extensive way. There's so much in terms of exercises. The deck as well, that might come through like you know, the new, the newest, the latest, new agey looking collage style ethereal pretty deck in reality is very robust. Um, the, the guidebook itself, it's, uh, it's an important tool. It offers so much in terms of actual, tangible, concrete things that you can do to bring that so much needed healing in your life. So it's not just a pretty deck. There's a lot of substance here. And a quality, incredible. We'll touch that point uh, very soon. So let's take a look at the uh, at the book itself. Now, um, the law of positivism uh, is based on uh, some uh, principles that Shireen calls calls pillars, and it will um, she will offer you uh, guidance to. Uh, to work in five different planes of your existence to bring healing, to bring uh, growth. Uh, so we have a um, part cultivating positivity, managing emotion, connecting, healing and aligning, finding purpose. So the themes that Shireen um, takes on are things like being aware of your thoughts, the conscious and the subconscious mind, how to stop negative habits, healing the emotions, uh, the emotional body, release fears, uh, how to uh, handle things when you're an empath and you're highly sensitive, how you cultivate healthy emotions, the importance of self-love, what to do about relationship, how to create healthy boundaries, and so on and so forth. And then there are so many chapters, I think 14, about exercise that you can do, like observing yourself and your thoughts, how do your thoughts make you feel, identifying ne negative thoughts, how to create stillness in your mind, how you identify your top um, uh, habits, negative or positive, identify your fears, how to find the source of energy for your body, um, silent meditation, um, healing yourself, creating healthy boundaries, identifying healthy and unhealthy relationships, and so on. And the area of your existence where you can apply these principles, these uh, pillars, are the um, energy, the connection between body, mind, and spirit, and um, gratitude. So awesome reading. Um, from a um, writing standpoint, from a prose st style standpoint, it's a very pleasant reading. I actually loved her uh, very conversational um, style, very approachable. I love the fact that she incorporated a lot of her own personal experience. She basically explains how she got into uh, this spiritual journey, how she got to um, become a light worker, coming from a totally different field. So there are um, 
there's a description of a bi- biographical life experiences that brought her to uh, onto this path. Her heritage, her history, her family history, um, her family karma. So beautiful, enlightening reading. Now, as far as regards the deck, beautiful quality uh, cardstock that just enriches the experience through the tactile feelings. Okay, so uh, this is the deck. comes in a sturdy two-part box. So inside we have, um, so the, from the back of the deck, of the box, we're made up of many aspects in body, mind, and spirit. And when we find balance in one of these parts of ourselves, we can begin to heal the rest of our system. The cards in this deck are themed around five layers, physical, mental, emotional, energetic, and spiritual. To support your healing journey, discover how to attract positivity in your life and return to wholeness. Um, the, um, the creator, uh, Shireen Oberg, is the creator of the Low Positivism Instagram page and podcast. And Lori Menna is the graphic artist who is inspired by spiritual healing and the great mystery of life. Inside the box, we have, I let the divine embrace me in unconditional love. And it is in this embrace that I can surrender and let go. In the divine, I fully trust, even when I myself cannot see the path ahead of me. I'm exactly where my soul calls me to be in direct connection to the divine plan. Beautiful. Okay, so um, this is the uh, guidebook. As I said, it, it it's a, a treasure in and of, in and of itself because not only it goes through um, a very meticulous description of the the cards, the messages that are conveyed through the cards according to the area of spiritual um, body, mind, spirit, energy level, uh, but it offers also um, some very practical uh, tips and suggestions and practices that you can incorporate into your uh, into your life to promote self-healing and spiritual growth. So there is an introduction, con- table of contents, the introduction, the three pillars of the law of positivism are energy, balancing mind, body, and spirits, and gratitude. And then she touches a little bit of her personal experience in the paragraph that uh, titled My Journey. Healing through awareness of the five layers. The, the five layers um, represents actual suits in the deck, as we will see. So we have the physical level, the mental, the emotional, energetic, spiritual, soul, how to work with the cards. And then I think that there is a, um, the cards are color coded according to the uh, level. So we have the um, a predominant, predominant green color in the physical healing associated with Mother Earth and our physical body made from Earth matter. The mental healing in blue associated with the air element in Ayurveda, which is connected to mind and our mental state and thoughts. Pink associated with emotional healing. Um, this is the area of the heart and the comfort, uh, comfort of the mother's embrace. Pink can be soothing and reminds us of the rose, which is incredibly healing for the heart. Then we have the purple color for the energetic healing associated with the awakening and our energetic fre- frequencies. Associated with awakening and our energetic frequency, working with purple amethyst is known to help open our third eye and crown centers. And then there's the golden associated with the spiritual healing, divine light pouring into the crown, which can help us return to wholeness. There is, I think, a suggestion for a um, one card reading, three card spread. And cross spread, place four cards in a cross shape. These cards can represent the four direction season and the four points of the year, solstice and equinoxes. Whatever you feel most connected to on your spiritual path, then there's the one year um, wheel, one per each month and a significator card, the 13 card, then there is a five layer spread, full um, 
pool, sorry, five cards, one from each theme to represent the state of the layers and bodies in the present moment. Now, um, the uh, five layers of the um, of this spiritual uh, law of positivism um, represent five are actually like five suits in the deck, and I have put the cards in order so that I can show you um, how they are divided. But I normally work with this deck shuffling the cards all together. Uh, one of the um, spreads suggested to use them in um, keeping the uh, the suits, the layers separated, which is a way to do it. My practice has been to shuffle all the cards together and to pull one card at a time or a couple of cards or a spread of three cards to do my readings. Um, what else? Let's see. Uh, these are the backs. And this deck is beautiful. Aesthetically, it's just amazing. Amazing. I love the colors. I see this beautiful um, apricot colored uh, circle in the middle with the open eye as a symbol of awakening. Um, there's a lot of uh, botanical elements, animal totem as well. And the, the guidebook is really good in that sense because there will be also description of the, uh, for example, symbols, of the symbols used in each of the cards and what they represent. Now, um, the um, cultural heritage for Shireen Oberg is Kurdish, I think. So some of these symbols are specific to that, um, to her cultural background but they are perfect for uh for anyone i think so let's see if there's anything else worth know to be uh read here in the book just to help you understand what this uh deck is about maybe let's see uh What is the law of positivism? I created the law of positivism to share uplifting words, ancient wisdom, and channeled messages to serve humankind with more healing and heart-centered devotion. It isn't a new philosophy or religious movement. It is a unification of what I perceive as the fundamental pillars of living of our highest purpose and essence through conscious awareness and a remembrance of our source. The three pillars of the law of positivism are energy, balancing mind, body, and spirit, and gratitude. The first pillar, energy, reminds us that everything in physical manifestation is a form of energy. We can transform our lives with the knowledge that energy can be shifted and recreated in cycles for the highest and greatest good. The second pillar is about creating and experiencing holistic healing by balancing the different layers and aspects of our being to return to wholeness. The last pillar, gratitude, is a form of ceremonial and ritualistic life we can choose to live, and it focuses on seeing life through the heart in communion with the divine. Okay, so uh, we start with the physical healing. There would be 10 cards in each of these layers, in each of these suits. The physical healing, the densest and most palpable aspect of our being is the physical body, which embodies the soul and the earth. The physical body is our sacred vessel in this life, composed of the same matter as the earth and stars. We are from birth connected to our physical body, and as children, we are in reverence and awe of it. As we undergo programming from society and the stresses of life, we tend to lose connection to the body and its signals. Sometimes we are so much in our mind and thoughts that we stop feeling embodied and grounded. Physical health and an holistic lifestyle are the foundations that help us to connect deeper and higher to our, our other body layers. So we have card number one in this suit. I go deeper into the root of my physical discomforts to learn and heal. As I heal my body, I heal my mind, I heal my body. My body is a manifestation of my energetic state. So as you can see, there are animal totems almost in every card. So there was... Um, uh, an eagle in the first card, we had horse in the second one, and we have dolphin spirit in the second, in the third one. Then we have, I let the healing energy of my heart heal my body from any discomfort. We have birds in this one, and flowers as well. 
I listen to the voice of my body and lets me know exactly what I need. I bless my body with nourishing foods. Movement helps my energy and emotions to flow. I've been using my decks uh, for daily draws every day. And I've been using it also on the channel for the uh, my Wellness Wednesday or self-care Saturdays and Sundays short, short videos. I know when my body needs to rest. My body knows how to self-heal. I follow the cycles of my body. And this was the last card in the body and healing for the body layer. Now we're moving into the mind. The mind is the second layer and its voice can be used creatively to shape our lives and perception. However, our programming, our experiences, and our fears can create through thought patterns that might not be healthy or serve us or others. Working consciously with the mind, our thoughts, subconscious and conscious, can help us to heal our whole being. So I am the master of my mind. My mind is clear as a still lake. Beautiful. I release negative thoughts about myself and my life. Great affirmations as well and uh, in the guidebook and in these um, banners. When my mind is still, I hear my inner voice. With my thoughts, I co-create with the universe. I let go of limiting thoughts that are holding me back. My thoughts are empowering and loving. Beyond my mind, I'm consciousness in human form. I focus my thoughts on abundance and gratitude. And in my dreams, I find my answers. And now we are into the emotional, I think, the emotional, the heart space. Let's see. Let's read the introduction from the book, the guidebook. The emotional healing. Our emotions can navigate us through life and become thoughts, guides, and tools to help us create the life we desire. The emotional body is pure, sometimes instinctive, sometimes intuitive, and sometimes connected to the world emotions. Emotions are the fuel of life, the essence of love, and what drives us. When we listen and sit with our emotions, we can make informed decisions, see life from new perspective, and also find a deeper connection to ourselves and others. I forgive and release the past to heal my life. I feel safe and grounded. I am calm and safe in the midst of chaos. My heart is open to receiving love. I liberate myself from emotions that don't serve me. My heart space is abundant and flowing. I take the path of love and devotion. I use my emotions to fuel my path. As I rest in the sacred womb, I heal. And now we are, oh, when I heal, the world heals. And then we move to, let's see, the energetic healing. Everything we observe is a frequency and energy that we can perceive through our senses, lower and higher. The energy body is subtle, but powerful and dramatically impacts our well-being. Since it's subtle, we forget about it until it comes out through our emotions, thoughts, and physical body. We must actively work with the energetic body to maintain equilibrium and balance. I have a healthy and stable foundation in my life. The waters of creativity and sensuality flow within my heart. My passion and visions are expansive as the sun. I deserve to receive and give love. I hear, speak, and express my truth. Through meditation, I see clearly beyond the veils of illusion. I open up to receive divine guidance and support to heal my life. I have an energetic body and the power to transform myself and my life. When I flow with my energy, I flow with the energy of life. 
I release energy that is blocking my inner vibrational flow. And then the last one is the spiritual layer, spiritual healing. Spiritual healing goes beyond time and space, beyond the tangible and energetic bodies, and is about diving into the source within you. Spiritual healing allow us to, allows us to raise our frequency and connect to our guides and the divine to return to who we truly are. Spiritual healing is the healing of our lineage, physical and soul, to weave together the threads of our lives that have come before us, our ancestors and the soul's journey across dimensions. And we have I'm evolving as a soul when I'm aware of my soul's journey. I let go of fears that are stored in my soul. Beautiful. Through faith and hope, I'm divinely guided on my path. In prayer, I commune with the universe as my dearest friend. I'm one with the infinite consciousness. I completely surrender to my path. This card has been stalking me in the past few days. I accept my life exactly as it is. The divine is always supporting and guiding me. Life is a dream within a dream. And I connect with the strength and wisdom of my ancestors. Beautiful deck, not only beautiful, but beautiful inside and out, I would like to say, with a, with a very uh, deep soul and a lot of weight. So uh, it's printed on that beautiful uh, cardstock uh, he house used in the very beginning years ago. From my understanding, they went back to this beautiful cardstock for this deck and for the um, healing um, Waters Oracle deck by Rebecca Campbell, I think, only for those two. Uh, I don't think that they're adopting this uh, cardstock for every other new release, maybe just for these two for particular reason. So it's uh, it was a very nice surprise, thick, very smooth, silk finished cardstock. So we're going to draw a card and read, read from the guidebook to show you um, how substantial is the message that you can find in the booklet. You can draw a card for guidance for the day to understand where you need to heal, how, why. You can also um, do a three-card spread where you can, for example, ask what is the area of your life where you need to focus your attention right now for healing, what practices, for the second card, you might ask what practices might better suit um, you know, the kind of healing that is required, and then a third card for the possible outcome for the big spiritual reward if you can gain from uh, following the advice so what is the message we need to receive right now what is the message i should read for everyone oh two cards let's see we have um two cards from the earth um body uh layer in so this is healing of the body. Card number four and number 10. I let the healing energy of my heart heal my body from any discomfort and I follow the cycles of my body. Let's see from the guidebook. Card number four. The heart goes beyond the logical mind and the physical body and is the center of healing and, and unconditional love. The heart is intelligent and intuitive and connects us directly with the source. The heart is more than just a physical organ. The center holds divine and sacred mysteries. Are you listening to the language and voice of your heart? From this center, we're merging earth and heaven and connecting to a universal intelligence that is pure love and oneness. The heart is our compass, and if we choose to listen to it, we can be guided through intuition and the path of love. When there is unconditional love and self-love present, we have already reached a big part of our healing. If you are experiencing physical imbalances, it is time to connect deeper to your heart for answers. Meditation, sleep, and heart-opening practices are essential, and living from a heart-based space can help you elevate and go deeper. Heart Healing Meditation 
With a silent mind and a focus on your breath, start dropping your consciousness into your heart. Speak to your heart and ask it, ask it what you need and what you need to know to heal. Feel the energy of your heart expand and visualize it filling your whole body. Feel and visualize the heart energy surrounding your whole body. Let it hold and embrace your heart center. Let the heart's energy enter the places in your body that need healing right now. The symbols in the card are the finch, this bird here, which is a symbol of ascension. Um, there's also a partridge, Kurdish call or ch chukar partridge, which is a symbol of love. The red rose, healing of the heart, and the whale symbol, symbol of wisdom and guidance. The other card is number 10. So as you can see, there is the nice write-up about the uh, general message, um, a few questions that you might ask yourself to understand what is going on in your life, where do you need healing and possible reasons why, and then uh, heart healing meditation practices, five different things that you can do. Number 10. I follow the cycles of my body. We are in a cyclical reality where there is no beginning or end. Life is a spiral of events happening on many planes and dimensions simultaneously. Our body connects to Mother Earth, the seasons, weather shifts, the moon, sun, and planets. We have a daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly cycle. And when we, when we contemplate our cycles, we can find the patterns and spirals we have entered. The womb, both physical and energetic, also has processes that cannot directly uh, connect directly to the moon and seasons. In one month, as cyclical beings, we have an inner winter, spring, summer, and autumn, an inner dark moon, waxing moon, full moon, and waning moon. This means we constantly shift between yin and yang, rest and activity, receiving and giving, dark and light, introversion and extroversion. Therefore, we must tune into the body in each stage and harness the potency of that specific stage. When we are in our dark moon phase or winter phase, we may need more rest and less activity and are more intuitive. When we are in our full moon phase, the summer, we can be more active, productive, and energetic. When we learn about the natural cycles, we learn more about ourselves and our deep connection to both aspects. Cycle practices that you can follow to heal in this area of your body. Learn more and tune into the cycles of the moon and sun. Learn more about your inner cycles and the four inner seasons of the menstrual cycle, also during and after menopause. Start noticing and journaling your thoughts, emotions, and physical signals each day for a month or two, and you will start seeing the patterns your body is patterning through. The symbols are the feminine cycles. The moon represents the feminine cycles. The snake represents wisdom. The rose, womb and heart connection. And the orchid represents fertility. All right, so this was a walkthrough and review of the uh, Law of Positivism Healing uh, article by Shireen Oberg and a look at her book, The Law of Positivism, Live a Life of Higher Vibrations, Love and Gratitude. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave your feedback in the comment section. Uh, let me know what you think about this deck. Do you have it? Uh, would you like to acquire it? Uh, how would you use it? Until I see you next time, many blessings.